So right beside the bigger PA rack with all the equipment, we have a smaller box, which at the top says PA speaker box. So that should give you some idea of what it is. It's essentially mostly a patch panel. So after everything's the lights. Um, so in the PA speaker box, we're usually greeted with this. So here is a little switch board. You can see six wires attached to the back of each switch. It, but mainly that there are three switches. So we've got one, the first one that says Cafetorium, second one says Central Market, and third one says just Market. So the top one is essentially a selector to whether the output of that amplifier should be connected to the speakers in the cafeteria or whether the speaker in the cafeteria should be connected as, uh, as a classroom to the office. So during like exam time, it's like this has to be off so that the speakers are connected to the office and all, all calls will be heard. Uh, during the school year for events and such like assemblies, we flip this on which would connect the speakers to the amplifier so we can use the microphone inputs and such. Central market and the old market, these are actually for a very old infrastructure system um, for hanging speakers that used to exist in Market Square back in the 80s and 90s. Um, they're not really, so they don't really do much anymore. But at one point, they allowed you to connect either an amplified or unamplified signal in plugs in Marcus Square. And it would either connect like this amplifier or the plugs um, to the speakers. As for gears, there's a whole bunch of wires like this. My best guess is these are XLR wires. Because um, one uh, unshielded, that would be the ground and shielding. And we've got three. And uh, XLR usually works off of three because they're balanced audio connectors. That's most of it. There's a couple other wires of significance down here. There's this one which says PA over, and there's two override nut, uh, wires which don't do anything from what I've tested. And there's a radio lamb wire here. Let's see if I can find it. Most of these wires aren't really connected. And at the very bottom, we've got these thick wires. These are what come from the amplifier. Yeah, so the other significant wire is the radio lamp wire, and that's what feeds radio lamp to the main office. These tubes here are mostly connect, are mostly from the mic. So in front of our stage, we've got these two little mic um, plugs. So one of them is here on the left, and the other one is here on the right. And both of these are connected in parallel, and these are both connected to um, the mic number two on the PA cabinet. So that along with this one. This one tends to sound a bit high pitched, so lots of uh, treble, not enough bass. That one sounds a little uh, more bassy, boomy, um, probably because of the signal degradation from the old, old cables. Finally, we've got coax plugs here, which are connected to the centralized distribution system in the uh, library. And um, this is backstage on, on the um, right wing from the audience's perspective, left from the actors. There's also, we also have this panel here with an XLR quarter inch and coax that I have no clue what it does. So on, on both sides of the stage, on floors, we've got these little panels that say the Stra Strand Electrical Company. So inside here, you will essentially find three um, socket ports, of which one is utilized by uh, um, NOMA um, L L20R and L20. So this is the L20R, uh, 20 amp locking um, outlet and this is the uh, plug so reciprocal and um, plugs that usually go into this. This is for the stage lights that we use. They're wired for 120 volts AC and can deliver up to 20 amps. They're also twist locking cables. So for example here we've got this uh, twist lock extension again um, L20P plug and L20R with uh, receptacle. So to plug these in, essentially you have to find which one has a little notch. So in this case I can see it's this one. Match the notching pin, notched pin on your extension cord. And then you can plug it in. Once they're aligned, of course. Because most of the lights you connect here don't have long enough. So another thing backstage we have here, this is the power panel. And I know it's a stand back, but thank you. So essentially in this panel there's a few this is a breaker panel, as you can see. There's a few breakers that are usually to the interest of stage crew. First of all is the PA uh, breaker, this is twenty amps. 
and this essentially provides the power for the plug down you see down here as well as the power for this amplifier rack that I've shown you in a previous video usually if you're too lazy to open it you can just use, cut the power to the amplifiers from here drum office so if, um, if the drum teachers ever have the power use from here fridges is a common one so we've got the fridges from the cafeteria and during sh uh, um, and school play we usually end up turning this off just because the fridges are very noisy so that's from here and this is uh, 38 to 42 these are this is the triple breaker for the lighting bar in Market Square that's motorized.